Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delicio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. And today, we're going to be taking a look at Zoned Out from Gray Fox Games. Two to four players, 30 to 60 minutes. A fast, strategic, city-building game for up to four clever developers. Welcome to Zoned Out, a game where you help build a thriving metropolis from the ground up. Looks like a bit of a tile-laying game, just... On first glance, let's see if that bears out when we open things up. Here we go. We've got our rule book here. We've got our list of contents, game objective. Players are city planners trying to expand their burgeoning, burgeoning metropolis with new zones and then developing those zones into city blocks. We've got different types of city zones. We've got residential, commercial, industrial, library, stadiums, train depots, parks, museums, parking lots, and abandoned buildings. You don't want those. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've got our setup here. And um, to start the game, the start player chooses a city block to place their city planner token on and then draws a card. On your turn, you may optionally redraw... Choose a card to play, which is mandatory, and then move your planner. Okay, so it looks like instead of a tile placement, it's a card placement game. And you are trying to build these different zones up. You can also optionally develop your zone and draw a card. Some of these optional, some of them mandatory. Developing a zone and scoring. If a player develops a zone, that player scores points based on the zone's size and then places their building pieces on all the blocks within the zone, stacking pieces based on the zone's density. All right. And you get points depending upon that. The end of the game is triggered once any player has played their last building piece or when any player can't draw a card. And then you've got an example of end game scoring here and a scoring example in a four-player game. It looks like one of those types of games where... The scoring is going to be a big part of the game, trying to figure out and calculate the scoring there. And then you've got a small glossary as well. All right, well, let's take a look at the components. We've got a bit of cardboard here. Looks like either points or money, one of the two. Probably money, just a guess. The uh, tokens are fine. Nothing terribly remarkable one way or the other. Let's see, we've got some cards here. Take a look at those. Looks like the main cards that you lay out are square. These are more of like the scoring type of cards. Light residential zone. Score one victory point for each light residential block you developed. I believe light is based on the stacking. The, maybe like a one stack is a light. Just based off of a quick, medium, heavy. These are all different ways you can score. With bonuses as well. We've got our little movers here. In the player colors, kind of a translucent plastic that you can see there. Let's look at our square cards. This is going to be really what the board is made up of. They're going to be these cards that are laid out and developed upon. All right. This looks like a starting card. It's double-sided. All right. I'm not going to go through all of these in a lot of detail, but just so you can kind of see the artwork, see the different types of buildings, like those are the abandoned buildings. Obviously, you don't want those. They're worth minus points. Parking lots are worth minus one. Abandoned buildings worth minus two. All these single-sided. So, obviously, you're going to play these out and try to build and develop in such a way to score you the most amount of points. There have been a number of these types of games out there that you may be familiar with. I'm just going to show you one set of these because they're just the same in different player colors. So you can see these plastic translucent buildings that look like they stack quite nicely right on top of each other there. All right, well... I think that gives us a pretty good idea of what's found inside the box of Zoned Out. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. 
thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.